Hello and welcome to Sanford Style and the saga of our guest bedroom makeover. In the first episode, I show you guys how the schedule room was a complete mess. I cleaned out the room completely and started with the demo. And upon doing all that demo work, I discovered there is a lot of hidden damages that I wasn't aware of. In this episode, I'm quickly going to show you guys everything that I've discovered that I need to repair. And this episode is going to be about doing all the repairs and prep work to get this room back to looking good. As you guys can see, we scraped the ceilings and uh, that left us with also a lot of work waiting. I demoed the closet over there, took out all the cabinets and then also discovered a lot of hidden damages that I wasn't expecting. So all the demo work is done and now it's time to do all the repairs. So I'm quickly going to show you guys all the damages and repair work that I need to do and then get straight into it. So let's check it out. So one of the first things is that I'm going to have to do is to remove this box and uh, replace it with uh, sheetrock. I don't think anybody uses these cables anymore and uh, we definitely don't have any use for it. So, so I'm going to do my best, remove this box without destroying everything around it and then fix the hole with some new sheetrock. And then over here, as you guys can see, I removed the cover that was cut off to make it fit. The baseboard is actually over where I need to remove that screw in order to get that out. So I'm going to have to crawl underneath the house to see if I can raise that outlet a little bit. Hopefully there is a little bit of extra wire underneath it so I can pull it up. Otherwise, I'm going to have to probably drop it down and then kind of put it into the baseboards when I redo these baseboards. So not too sure how this is going to turn out. This is probably going to be the biggest obstacle of this uh, whole repair work, but uh, we're going to get it sorted and looking good. And then over here on the ceilings, there is a lot of uh, repair work that I'm going to have to do. Uh, unfortunately, it got damaged when I was scraping this uh, popcorn ceiling. Uh, however, I was kind of expecting there to be a little bit of damage, but uh, not this much. And then I'm going to have to take out this uh, old light fixture thingy, uh, cut it out and then fill it in with new sheetrock because I am not going to put anything there. So we need to get that out the way. And in this closet area, there's also just going to be a lot of a uh, little bit of sheetrock repair that I'm going to have to do on the ceiling, but that's going to be majority just mud work. Okay, so now you guys saw all the damages that I'm going to have to be fixing and repairing. Uh, most of the work is going to be the ceiling itself. I'm going to have to do a lot of mudding and sanding. And I want to get that dust and dirty work out the way and then start finishing up with the paint and everything. So hopefully my goal is to get the ceiling painted by the end of this video. And hopefully it works out. But let me get right into it and see if we can make it happen. So let's go. Right now, I am struggling with this uh, outlet box, trying to get it out. These boxes are installed when the sheetrock is off with two giant nails. Um, so I'm just prying it back and forth, trying to break it out. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm having uh, quite a bit of a time with this box, but eventually I managed and I got it out. So over here, we got that hole filled up with some sheetrock and it's also ready for some mud. Okay, so for us to even get to that outlet and to remove it to see how much uh, wire we got, we actually have to remove the whole baseboard. So I'm going to quickly remove this baseboard and then get access to this outlet. So let's see what's going on there. So right now I'm making markings to where I'm going to cut out this uh, sheetrock so I can put in that new box. So as you guys can see, I marked it out. I used the oscillating tool and cut it out and it looks like it's going to be perfect for the new box. And uh, I discovered that that wire is there and it's going to be perfect for the new box. Excellent news about this outlet over here that was in the baseboard. Uh, I'm not too sure why they made it so low uh, because the wire is coming from on top. So I'm just going to take out this box, get a new box and put it on the upper side over here. And that way it is on a standard position and I can have a baseboard there without it being in the baseboard. I have no idea why the previous owner would have done this um, or I presume it's not the builders that did this. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, super excited about that, not having to crawl underneath the house. Okay guys, so now I'm ready to take off this outlet. Uh, as you guys can see, I've opened this up quite a bit. I've got a new box that's going to go in right there and that's just going to tie in or uh, tighten using the sheetrock and then I'm going to replace this with a brand new piece of sheetrock. So now I need to take this uh, electric uh, wire out, pull it all the way up here 
put it through the box and then replace the sheetrock and then put this back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this right here. Okay, so we got this outlet moved up and now we're ready to put some sheetrock on and we can finish it up with some baseboards. There is a little gap there. I'm not too concerned because the baseboard is gonna cover it. But we got the outlet moved and that's what matters. So let me show you guys the rest of the repairs. The last doll was up here in the ceiling, so we got that cut out and filled in with some sheetrock and now it's also ready for some mud. So let me get to mixing some mud and fixing the ceiling and all the sheetrock repairs. Okay guys, so it's time for me to have some fun and by fun I am meaning I am going to be sanding the ceiling. So as you guys can see, there is still a lot of texture where the seams are in the ceiling and these, uh, I presume it's the nail holes where they screw in the sheetrock. Um, so I'm going to smooth that and get that smooth and ready for paint. I also repaired all the damage that I caused when I scraped the ceilings. I filled up the holes everywhere. So now it's time to sand all those rough texture spots and see if we can get the ceiling all smooth out. This is the ceiling in the closet. So I got everything filled in with joint compound so I can go ahead and sand it and see how smooth we get it. I'm going to do some finishing mud on the walls, uh, but for now I'm going to sand this ceiling. There's no point for me to show you guys how I'm going to be sanding because there is going to be a lot of dust. So I got this uh, fan, so I got this box fan in the window. Hopefully it will draw out a little bit of the dust and uh, save me from dying in here. But I throw on my mask and then start sanding and show you guys a smooth ceiling. Let's do it. Okay guys, I'm done with the sanding. However, this did not go as I was hoping it would go. Uh, as you guys can see, obviously it's not smooth or ready for paint. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to take my finishing mud, put it all over this textured part of the ceiling and then give it a day to uh, settle down and then give it one more sanding and then we should be smooth and ready for paint. So right now I've got everything ready. I've got my finishing mud. I'm gonna throw it on the ceiling and everywhere that it needs and then it should be ready for sanding tomorrow. Just to quickly show you guys, I did a skim coat on those textured areas of the ceiling that I couldn't scrape off and uh, now it's ready for some sanding. So everywhere that I needed to put mud is covered and the next step is going to be to sand it and get it smooth and ready for paint. So I am super happy to announce that now I am ready to start painting. So I did a skim coat on the ceiling and got that all smooth out. It took me a little while to uh, get all the sanding done and also all the sheetrock repairs. As you guys uh, know, I moved that outlet, fixed that all around it, and now we are ready for some paint. I got my paint supplies ready and I'm gonna lay on some paint. I'm gonna start with a primer because this is gonna be a raw ceiling, obviously, as you guys can see after I scrape it. So I'm gonna do one coat of primer and then two coats of a flat white ceiling paint. So let's get right into it. So I wanna quickly go over all the paint supplies. I got my 18 inch roller, 3 8 nap roller, got a couple of rags, I got my 18 inch pan. And the paint I'm gonna be using is the Sharon Williams multi-purpose primer. Uh, that's gonna be good for the ceiling. And then also I'm gonna be using it on the walls when we get to it, because we are gonna go from a dark color to a light color. And then the ceiling I'm gonna be finishing with this Promar ceiling white paint. It's a flat paint and it really does uh, work great. So I got my two and a half inch brush, which I'm gonna cut in all the corners and edges and then hit it with the big roller. So let's do it.
Okay guys, so I made it to the end of this uh, long project. If there is something that I would recommend you do to uh, transform a room is to scrape the popcorn ceilings and have a smooth ceiling if you do not have that already. Uh, this room looks a thousand times better and I am super happy the way it turned out. We still got a few things to do before we get to the finish line. We are planning to do some kind of accent wall, not too sure yet. I still got to paint, I got to redo the trim, install light fixtures. So there is still a couple of things for me to do before we finish this project. So if you guys enjoy hanging out with me and uh, following along with this project, consider subscribing or sharing it with your friends and family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, goodbye. So I'm quickly going to run you guys over. Run you guys over. Yes, what a train. So let's get some mixing some... So let me get to some mixing some mud and try filling up the <clears throat> so let me get so let <clears throat> so let me get to fixing so i'm gonna use uh, that also <laughs>